All right, now to a jaw-dropping joyride in Northern California. Get this, a Cal Fire inmate firefighter decided to take an engine for a spin in the middle of a call last night. Reporter Ryan Hill shows us the video that left some nearby business owners speechless. Your eyes aren't playing tricks on you. Security cameras capturing last night a Cal Fire engine plowing through the property of a truck rack business in Shingle Springs owned by Van Thompson. When I got notification of it early this morning, I, I couldn't believe the fact that somebody had stolen a uh, Cal Fire truck and had actually driven it through my property. Cal Fire says crews were responding to a grass fire sparked by illegal fireworks when an inmate firefighter stole the engine and, as you can see, took it for a spin. Thompson's son Travis says he's not sure the joyride went according to plan. And so as he comes off of this, launches himself onto two different racks and starts dragging them across the parking lot through here until eventually the fence gets so tight, seizes him for a second, and then guns it again. The Thompsons tell me their business wasn't the only one that was hit. The truck drove around the area, hit another business, finally coming to a rest at this irrigation ditch. But to have someone just straight up steal a fire truck and go on a rampage is, it's out of a movie. A wild ride doing some big damage. More than 250 feet of fence ripped out at their business along with busted up truck racks. We have tons of racks out here that got hit, upwards of 50 of the product. You know, a lot of these customers have been waiting eight weeks to steel shortages and increasing in steel price. And one of the Thompson's vital company trucks is now out of commission. We're so busy, I need every single truck. A busy business now dealing with this fire truck fallout. Instead of celebrating 35 years of being in business on Tuesday, there'll be a lot of people asking questions tomorrow morning when they show up. What the heck happened here? We're asking questions <laughs> right now. That was Ryan Hill reporting. No one was hurt during the ordeal, but Cal Fire says the fire engine will cost about $280,000 to replace.